If you are a student at Cal Lutheran University or have any vested interest in the school, one question might be on your mind. Who's in charge here? The answer, like many things, is complicated, but at least for the highest levels of the university, it lies within two documents. The first is the Articles of Incorporation, the document that laid out what Cal Lutheran is in the eyes of the state of California. It is like the constitution of the Cal Lutheran University. The second is the bylaws, or the internal rules of the school that nonprofits are required to have. They're like an instruction manual for the university, or like laws under the Constitution. Now back to the question, who's in charge here? The short answer, of course, is the university president, currently Chris Kimball, as he is in charge of a lot of the day-to-day -day affairs of the university. However, the president is part of, and according to the school website, quote, directly responsible to the Board of Regents. That leads to the next question, who are the Board of Regents? A good way to think about them is like a board of directors. In fact, that's what they're called in the school's initial 1959 Articles of Incorporation. The document that laid out what Cal Lutheran is in the eyes of the state of California. There, it explicitly states, for the purpose of this corporation, the directors shall be designated as regents. So yes, they're basically the board of directors. According to the 2018 University of Bylaws, there are 35 members of the board of regents. So about 35 regents are in charge of the school, right? Not quite. It states in a 1969 amendment to the Articles of Incorporation, there is another force behind the school. It says, these Articles of Incorporation may be amended or changed only by a resolution adopted by not less than two-thirds of the Board of Regents and the vote or written consent of members holding at least two-thirds of the voting power of the corporation. So what are these members? Later the amendment gives them a new name, Convocators. However, they are more than mere voting members of the corporation that is Cal Lutheran University. According to the school website, the convocation, convocators, quote, elects the Board of Regents. Bylaws state that regents are elected under the following circumstances. One, the majority of the regents are not paid by, or a spouse or a family member to someone paid by the school except as regents. Two, a majority of regents are members of the Evangelical Lutheran Church of America. The convocation contains various members of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America. The majority members of the convocation are from Region 1 and 2 of the Evangelical Lutheran Church. According to the school website, quote, the convocation is made up of members of five synods of Region 2 and a caucus representing Region 1 of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America, faculty, students, and the university president and members at large. In short, the convocation, or members of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America, chooses the board of regents that chooses the president that chooses the lower levels of administration. And that essentially is the upper administration of Cal Lutheran University.